Wire Monkey, 1979. Excellent. Sort of like a girlfriend of mine. Kind of like most guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wire Monkey, I was going over the Wong Dads in Gertie's Village Voice when she and the man with no neck got back. Gertie was looking a little nervous, and the minute he stomped into the bathroom, again not turning on the faucet, she slid me basically a full breakfast, expertly rolled up in paper napkins. I quickly hid it under the blanket. She quickly whispered in my ear, we're going out to his mother's again, but we'll see you tonight at the cow. I gotta talk to you about the toilet flush. And she immediately went to the sink and started washing dishes. I kept reading the voice. I really wish he'd run the faucet. Mister, I left my neck in San Francisco, sat back down at the kitchen table and took a long, long look at me. Bets. There are a lot of men out there who would find you attractive. Not me, of course. Gertie's my style. Gertie giggled a giggle as false as her six-hour orgasm. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Bets, there are a lot of guys out there that go for the ugly look. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I looked at Gertie. Honey? I'm not saying, I'm just saying. You know, look, Bets, I know you need a job. I know you need to get back on your feet and get your own place. Honey? What? I'm trying to help your friend here. I guess in the morning light I was her friend and not his family, another thing I decided not to bring up. Meanwhile, the two of them were glaring at each other like they had been married for a long, long time. <laughs> then he deliberately turned back to me, letting Gertie know that the discussion was over. So bet. I know a guy out on the island, and he runs a service. I must have looked blank. Gertie slammed down the pot she was washing. Don't you dare, Gerald. Gerald? His name was Gerald? <laughs> Don't you talk to me like I'm my mother. I got a mother, so you watch yourself, huh? And besides, why not? She's an adult. She can make up her own mind. Bets! I was obviously looking at him like, your name is Gerald? <laughs> Which, obviously, he didn't care for. It's good money, if you're interested. I could talk to my friend. I didn't think it was ugly, ugly. I mean, I wasn't as beautiful as Gertie, who was always beautiful, no matter what size wardrobe she was wearing. But, you know, what the hell? What kind of service? Judging from both Gerald and Gertie's faces, I clearly was missing something here. You know, like an escort service for guys out on the island because you can't always get into the city, you know? I still must have looked like a dog when you pointed to the television set screaming, Look, another dog! <laughs> That's Hawkin! Gertie yelled. Like what Charlie did the last time we saw Charlie was in school in seventh grade, best at math, and we all copied from her. And the next time we saw Charlie was on third and first, right by the Army Navy store. And she wouldn't even talk to us at all except to ask for five bucks, which of course we didn't have. So yeah, I know hooking. And I just thought that most of it happened on a corner, and Long Island doesn't have any corners. <laughs> That's, it's when you, I know, I, it's the escorting part, like, do you also go places? <laughs> the happy hawker, remember? Gertie and I read that as soon as her father finished it and threw it away in the garbage room. <laughs> yeah, I remember the happy hooker, the Dutch girl or something, or for fuck's sake, I just woke up. Besides, wait a minute, didn't she have her own house? Like, when you have your own house, do you also have to go outside? Okay, enough, enough, enough. Even Gerald knew that when Gertie stamped her foot like that, the discussion was really over. So we all stopped yelling and being stupid. But when Gertie turned back to the sink, Mr. My Neck is named Gerald, <laughs> gave me a long, long look. Then he winked at me. And I don't know. I winked back. But why not at least think about it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>